Is that my phone? Makoto. Listen. No, <laughs> no. However. We don't ask these questions. <laughs> She doesn't discriminate. Ooh. Oh, she's back. <laughs> well, now. Clearly, you didn't. We were here in your adventure, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Chills, chills, kills. That's fine. Yay, yeah, stupid bear. We need to get in the elevator first, guys. So we're jumping a step. You guys. Sinking the floor. Hmm. In the name of my family. Yeah, no. It's been pretty long. I think this is the only trial in this game that has a checkpoint in the middle to save. Hey. Oh. However. Yeah, probably. However. Interesting. So. I'm go home.
<laughs> I, I had a heart attack. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well... <laughs> There's all your clues you got. Yeah, he's... you weren't able to hang out with anybody. So you're the same skills, the same play stats, so. be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't, then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! I knew it! have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I, too, have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. W what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How could the three of us each have that kind of evidence? <laughs> you guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. Yeah, you're correct. You're all out this is the only me. piece of evidence I everyone got me. individually. I have evidence of my own. While well, waiting to catch up, I learned a funny bit of uh, fun fact. The English voice actors for Leon and Sakura are married. What? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Huh? How, how did you miss? What the fuck was that? Rick. Uh, 
control control key. I have evidence. Hey, you're all out again. I have evidence. What a coincidence! Evidence that proves every. What? This doesn't make any sense. How could the three of us each have that kind of? No, that's wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right, because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. Everyone got a picture that they're not in. Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. Mm-hmm. What's Leon doing? <laughs> so the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind you you are really just fucking stupid. And fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. Fucking soccer smoke. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. In other words, <laughs> Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? see everyone's group photo one more time it's not directly connected to what we're talking about but I'd like to double check something sure no problem yeah I don't mind Update. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. But what are you talking about? There's no way. 
Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. Is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? Now you need E S <laughs> Now I understand. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Yeah. Oh, you can we tell the futures are like 20% of the time. That's Shut the fuck up. Crazy. <laughs> Yep. You're saying we all got spontaneous and the final trial, man. Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories is totally stupid. Yep. Obviously. Now which which point counteracts that? You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. No, it's wrong. Yeah, because he said the DVD is uh, when they all, when, the like Makoto didn't remember, the DVD the is all them accepting loss. that they're going to live here. This DVD does the same thing. Show us something indecent, are you? No, hardcore porn. Like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean I mean all, all of us, us, including you. <laughs> the fuck else does all of us mean? I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. So the headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? Thank God We're we don't have all idiots in the final trial. Amnesia here. <laughs> to be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, 
and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. Well, obviously, I don't you don't remember fucking remember why, idiot. <laughs> The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true. <laughs> what? I got a random PlayStation notification. Like, what the fuck for? And it was just a random game started updating. I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed, we only have one path in front of us. Then I really. One truth. Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time. This is all making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie, you figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. How could someone just steal And specifically our kill Golos more than everyone else? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. As me on the Monokuma the actually the participating in the trial. That group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. Yeah. <laughs> to, be, to be on the same height with everyone else. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That That's what a motive to is. Do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mokuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. <laughs> when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um, what does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. Has 
These masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the stunt. <laughs> What makes you? Um, exactly. You're just making stuff up. The mastermind is probably a million miles. No, it's wrong. <laughs> There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? Don't worry about that. <laughs> the silence was me actually center, genuinely being like, wait a minute, right. Like, <laughs> also Sakura. Wait, is Kondo just a fucking butter tub? <laughs> The mastermind must have been using that to control it all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Oh. Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Yeah, you're kind of fucking too me. stupid. I blame Makoto! What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, yeah. nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving Thank this Thank God mystery. for Kyoko and Bayakia. Yeah, well, <laughs> how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. <laughs> what more is there to, to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? Yep. I thought we figured that out. She died when she got no. hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? I got it! All of the wounds yeah. covering her body. That's what really killed mm -hmm. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So, so they can't in possibly be what killed ago. her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. Because... because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? 
She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... Y you know... You're wrong. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> Before I could even say anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you weird. think I'm... I'm not weird, okay? At least you listen <laughs> to what I have to say before you deny me! I'm sorry! Me. I'm not doing that. It, it, there's some the, the way to prove that, like... Yeah, yeah. There's seven again. You should know what bullet to use. Mukarovas is the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all those wounds in battle. Are you finished? You didn't deny me this time. Yeah, and, and also her file yeah. states she had no, you for being in so many battles, she had no noticeable Don't injuries worry. or scars there on her body. cute about it. Mukarovas is the ultimate soldier. She must have been enough. So, when you think they obviously, she got all those. No, it's wrong. Yeah? No. Mukuro didn't suffer the no. wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time yeah. she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. Damn it. She denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. Oh, maybe it's because of all of Master's training. Anyway. So we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Big wound. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, She'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. 
What are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince There's me There's one otherwise? major piece of evidence. Very obvious. Do you get? You never saw their face, right? Yep. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, awesome is good time to three bullet one you need to absorb. To prove it wasn't her. <laughs> oh. This other Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Or perhaps the He's left being an foot. asshole. Or could it be the hips? The hips don't lie. Huh. You never yeah. saw their face, yeah. right? So you can't This isn't the only time the series he, he actually participates in the trial. It's I'm not often, but it, this isn't the only time. No, it's one. I think it happened one more other time. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such Play. tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. But yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, the fuck else you know, did. someone also, else. Also, no one knew where he hit the knife. Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. And that too. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Showing oh, yeah. you what? Oh, God, there's a major reason why it isn't Kyoko either. What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow yeah. of a doubt it wasn't me. Your hands! Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. My scars should suffice as proof. Also grab the image. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? There we go. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. 
There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours! Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain! Then, she was being stored somewhere? But... To hide a body here... To just store it somewhere? No. Mukuro's body was probably <laughs> Can we hit it in the, the fridge? Bio lab. bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. Thank you, bio lab on. I got it. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says Biolab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the Biolab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers like a human and put body the on it me. afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly like, consistent. Yeah, they put it in the microwave. <laughs> That's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the biolab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. La la la, I can't hear you! La 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 la! Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. By the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? 
<laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that! Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Are you ready for rhythm game? Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Oh, bro, bro. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? <laughs> what? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Move, move, move! Are you sure about this? Move, move, move! Are you sure about this? Is the final trial? Is, is... I refuse to give up yet. There's also a bit of controls you should look up for that mode. There's still there's been a button you've not used. Because there's super meter you don't have to be in B. Deep time. That allow that makes it so you do not have to be in rhythm. You just hit the button. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Bro, bro, bro. Are you sure about this? Bro, bro. The better you do, the faster it gets. What? What do you want? Are you, you, sure about you this? this is something you should have been using the whole game. Are you sure about this? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. No. Are you sure about this? You did it. I'm not listening. Wrong bullet. Light. Not listening. This should prove it. And the consistency Kyoko's talking about is the lights. <laughs> lights. What? What are you talking about? Oh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed Dang. in there. Hot as 
place where Lord. everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would yep. turn off. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in. So I think we stockpiled on shit to stay hydrated. And there were only nine. I hope I don't have to go to the bathroom anytime soon. The fucking bathroom up here is a sauna. Should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Oh. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it! The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. Uh, I, mine was muted this whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize I was muted this whole time. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's annoying. It's thankfully a lot of the game talking for itself, so we're like... Yeah, but we're... It's just gonna be you and, the, and just talking to yourself. Because they can hear you. Mm. Oh, that's annoying. Son of a bitch. Well, that's going to be annoying in the fucking... The edit. <laughs> I was making some good jokes, too. Fuck. Alright. I guess we continue. Nothing I can do about that now. They'll just be like, uh, episode that's... <laughs> Quiet. Yeah. yeah, I was muted because, like, I have three audio bars in my stream mixer here, and my audio was covered or was, like, scrolled down, so I couldn't see if it was muted or not. So, it was just a mistake on my part, which I'm really fucking pissed about, but we carry on. And yet, yeah, Justin messaged me, I'm like, dog, if you're having issues, that's something you should probably, like, that we don't know from our end. God damn it. And yet, her body was al alone. Whose body disappeared? That's a good question. It may very well be that none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions. That's the case. Justin probably should have said something, because again, on our end, we wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known unless I seen it. But I didn't trip. No, I didn't triple check. So, yay. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders. Explanation for murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for that to make sense? Uh, that same person was killed twice. I got it. Obviously. Yep. What about if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far, but one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. 
fall. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings. But still, yeah, then they had something to just let us know in chat. <laughs> like the moment you notice. I was here earlier and see if something was wrong. I, I will say it's broke like oh yeah. Yeah, I wish someone someone told it me earlier. But we get we we're right back into it. Let's get I'm trying to focus here. We still have like two minimal like two hours of trial left anyway. Yeah, but the whole first hour of the recording is gonna be you talking to nobody and then it's the game. Oh yeah. frustrating. <laughs> Oh. Fuck me. Could easily have happened. No. It is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? Who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Oh. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. Oh. And that's why the body had to be stored in the body. It's just too much in pain to attend in the game, which is in just now noticed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else. Come on. But, but hey, Brandon, we have a we have a title for it. Just be the schizophrenic episode. Okay, thank. <laughs> uh, send that to send that. Put that in the YouTube Discord so I can remember. All right. No, no, no. That's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else. Come on. Besides, who could that someone else even have been? That's crazy. All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers. And that will become obvious. Yeah, I 100 percent sure who it is now. Nothing's gonna become obvious because Kyoko's totally delusional. Whoa, that's kind of fucked up. Oh, you think you only mastermind it? Yeah, it's none of those. Who is this someone else that hmm. Kuro was killed at? Was it Sayaka Maizono? No. Junko Enoshima? Yeah. Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? They just yeah, fucking name Mando all of them. Oka. Yeah, I guess so. Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Kifumi Yamada? Nope. Celestia Lu... whatever? <laughs> or maybe... Sakura Ogami? No. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Yeah, I think Junko was murdered twice, not gonna lie. It's fucking Junko. She is the mastermind. Junko. Yeah. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Oh, someone cover that upskirt. Well, remember what happened to her? Yeah, she got impaled. impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her yeah, body. Yeah, just it wasn't the order of when the of their when death. You compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered. <laughs> similarities match. The <laughs> similarities match. Yep. Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. I walked up into you being stepped on and. Recording up here. Nice. Yep. Great time to enter the chat. No. <laughs> that explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Oh, and show it again. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. I thought so much better of you. Well, you shouldn't. Let's just say that. <laughs> Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. Mm. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Uh, maybe. Wait, so then... What does it all mean? What does it mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? Who is yep. Who's behind all this? Well, we, we just kind of figured it out. It's Mukuro! She's still alive! No. She took 
healed Rose's body and made it look like she was the one who died. I think it's the opposite, obviously. Objection. Wrong game. Yeah. A little silence. Then I must This is wrong. the... I'm right, on. No, you're wrong counter. Mm. Mukuro alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro? But can we really believe that? No fucking way. Music's bumping. Mm. The body you found in the garden it wasn't Mukuro. Right. Then she's still alive. That's right. Wait, did he say she that was right? Like no. Jingo's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Do you give up? Mm. That's the one, though. No. Mukuro's still alive. I can really. Can I really believe that? Oh, yeah, I put uh, new follower emotes. Or new sub emotes. I don't know if they showed up yet because some of them are still pending, but there's a lot of Halo uh, emotes that are now available for subscribers and new follower emotes. So, enjoy those. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. It's wrong. No, it's wrong. It's Wong. Stupid bitch. No. Dude, I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry. That's insensitive. Was Mukuro. <laughs> that's one thing we can be Not sure. Not wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Uh huh. Right, Kyoko. She was five foot six inches tall and weighed ninety-seven pounds. I thought she was five foot her seven. Her were 31, 21, 32. I remember distinctly that she's five foot seven. Why do? I, why is she saying five foot six? Game, get your facts straight. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. Mm -hmm. well, if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? Or maybe the other one? Hmm. Someone made it look like they're they died, but they're actually still alive? Wow. There can only be one person. Where the f oh I gotta use arrow keys, not arrow keys. This bitch is still alive. Here's my answer. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? What do you mean? 